So there's been a lot of news lately about this whole cannibalistic zombie attack, or like zombie apocalypse. And I find it strange that many people are saying it's going to be the end because the zombies are going to be attacking us. It's not really zombies. Well, at least somewhat. Most of the things we know about this so far are just... I can't say isolated incidences when in less than a month I can name about six cases in less than a month. It's crazy. I know several people who are actually planning on preparing for such an event of a zombie apocalypse. It's really odd. Here's a small list of some of the cannibalistic attacks or zombie attacks that's been going on recently. A man named Rudy Eugene took a synthetic version of the drug LSD called bath salts. Took off his clothes due to the drug's effects on him overheating his body, as well as other side effects from the drug. Grabbed and beat a 65 year old homeless man. Stripped him down naked. Then began to eat 80 to 85 percent of his face. When the officers arrived, they warned him to stop which he then proceeded to look up at the officers and growl at them. Then he proceeded to eat the man's face. So an officer fired one shot at him, hitting him of course. He... He kept he just kept eating the face. He kept eating the man's face. So the officers were pretty much forced to shoot him several more times to stop eating his face. The 65 year old homeless man is alive still, as far as I know, but most of his face is gone. A Baltimore College student named Alexander Kinyu, if that is exactly how you pronounce his last name, I'm not sure, killed his college roommate, then later ate his brains and heart as he told police. Just two weeks after the infamous face eating attack, a man named Brennan D. Lawn, if that's how you pronounce his name, who is a 21 year old homeless man, started to have a verbal argument with another man at a local Boston market. When officers came over to Brandon while he was having an argument with another man, he yelled at them, fuck you, with his middle finger raised out. He was arrested for disorderly conduct. But while he was in the patrol car, he kept banging his head against the plexiglass saying, I'm going to eat you, I'm going to eat you. Sometime later at the station, Brandon tried to bite the officer who was trying to take his blood pressure. He was also seen uh, and also videotaped, uh, he kept growling and opening his jaw like an animal. And he kept growling and uh, bashing around his cell. They believe he was on a synthetic version of the synthetic version of LSD called bath salts called Cloud Nine. An African American woman named Lee Powell Davis in New Haven, Connecticut, tried to steal a wig from a beauty supply shop. When the owner and his 70 year old father ran after her, Davis punched them both in their faces, repeatedly, then bit the sore owner's arm so hard that she tore his flesh off, which then she proceeded to spit at his face. In Louisiana, a 31-year-old man named Carl J, I cannot pronounce his last name, was arguing with somebody who he apparently knew, and he later showed up at this man's doorstep, knocked on his door, when he answered, he bit the man's face off, a huge chunk of his face off. They believe he was on bath salts, but... We don't, as of right now, we don't know if that's the case or not. A former employee of a Swedish medical university, who is unnamed right now, is being accused of, after having a altercation, a verbal altercation with his uh, very young wife, because he suspected her of having an affair with another man, he cut off her lips and ate them. And he later told police he ate them because he didn't want his wife's lips sewn back on her. After hearing and reading all of this stuff and seeing the stuff on the news, I just have to say, what the fuck is going on with you people? I understand that people take drugs because they want to get that next thrill. They want to become high. They want to escape life. Or they're just bored and they're just trying it out. But come on, people. If you take a drug you know for a fact, or you somewhat know for a fact, or you suspect yourself that can make you attack somebody and eat their face or bite their flesh off, don't take it. What the fuck? Seriously, people. I can understand people taking marijuana, I can understand people even taking crack. I've never done any of that, but that's the case here. But taking bath salts, taking cloud nine, taking LSD, come the fuck on. I have no words for this. If you see something on the news about a drug that can pretty much make you lose your mind and become naked, 
attack somebody else and eat their face off or eat some other part of their flesh off, I would stay away from that drug and any form of that drug in any way, shape, or form completely. That's just my take on it, but come on, people. I'm out of words, as you can tell. I'm, I have no words to describe. I tried writing stuff to say to this, but I just can't. I, I, the fuck, people. Come on. I bet you the conspiracy theorists such as Alex Jones or David Icke or whoever else you're listening to who, who believes in the insane bullshit is going to say that the government's doing this. They're poisoning our air or they're poisoning our water with bath salts or other hallucinogenic uh, drugs just to fuck with us, just to make us zombies, apparently. Uh, mass hysteria and other shit like that. I bet you, I bet you they're going to say that. One of them, at least one of them is going to say it. If not, then hey, I'm wrong. But then again, Alex Jones is someone who would probably say this shit, especially David Icke.